Hello and welcome back. Today we are doing an unknown print. At least it's unknown to me because I am a Dito of the past and you, you are from the future and are watching this video. So it means that you've already read the title. So let's get started before the curiosity kills me. We are on the popular this year on Thingiverse and let's see what they got. I always see these things on the first page. It's like one of the most popular items. And I would love to make this, and I think I will make a video about it. It's gonna take a long, 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 long time to print. And... Ah, oh, hell, what am I thinking? Let's do this one. Now that we have all of our files for our polar bear downloaded, we can come over here and start throwing them into Cura. Looking at the reference image, it's divided into a bunch of different colors, so I'm going to try to print everything more or less based on the reference and just see how far I can get with the colors that I have. Starting out, I know that I want the polar bear to be white, so anything here that says bear, I know that I can drag in. In addition, I think there's also this iceberg. We do need to enable supports, as you can see, all of this red is going to need support. We can leave this at a 0.2 millimeter layer height. I've left everything stock. In fill, I have lowered to 5%. For my filament, I find that printing at 190 degrees instead of the recommended 200 is a slightly better choice. Print speed, we can bring up to 40. 50 is the standard setting, and I find that lowering it slightly is an improvement. Print cooling, I've lowered my fan speed to 70%, and I've turned off the initial fan speed for the first layer. Support, we're going to have to generate support everywhere. The important number to pay attention to is the support Z distance, which has to be the same as your layer height. This is where it skips a layer, and if it is not at least the size of your layer, it will fuse the support to your actual model, and you won't be able to remove it. Build plate adhesion. I think we can get away with a skirt. We do not need a brim. And we are ready to slice. Nine hours and 12 minutes. I do notice that some of these supports here are very thin and there is a risk that they fail if there is no brim. So I will change the skirt to a brim, save to removable media, clear the build plate by pressing Ctrl D. We have our frame and we have various clips, cams and gears. Going through our print settings, I'm going to leave them the same as for the polar bear, but we can take our brim, turn that back to a skirt. And where it says support everywhere, we can uncheck that. Slice, seven hours, 33 minutes. Save to removable disc. Clear the build plate. Gear one, two, and handle. Oh, and this axle, almost forgot that. With that done, we can have a slice, seal nose, and the bare eyes and nose. I love it when it takes 11 minutes to print. We can then take our seal, and our fish and drag them in. We can revert our build plate adhesion from a brim back to a skirt. We slice, save to removable drive, and we are ready to print. So we got two colors, there's white for the polar bear and the ice, and blue for everything else. I'm gonna put the polar bear together. I'm probably gonna regret this because like all these things, you put it together and it's like, oh no. The thing you understand is always the last thing you put together, so I'm doing it first. And what else, what else makes sense to me? Okay, so these are like, that's the frame. We can just put those to the side, we'll put those there. We got funky gears. We have cams, we have, this is the ice, we can put that because that's also technically the frame. And we have, oh, 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 we got the little fish. We can feed him to the, the seal. That's another thing I know how to do. Eh. There's a little post there and a groove there, so I guess that goes together. Eh. And it is complete. A lot of these things printed in place and are still free. Like to print with that kind of tolerances is actually pretty, pretty 
pretty cool. So if we put the ice on top, stick it like that, then we can put our polar bear on top. Yeah! I'm assuming that this cam system here, as this turns, it has to hit this tiny little post on the side there, which makes it move and then drop back. So that probably goes in front, or not. Our handle goes there. I get it. Okay, so the handle has to turn this gear. Okay, so that goes like that. That goes on top like that. And then we use one of our clips to hold that in place. Yeah. That is so satisfying. So we have the gear in and our handle goes in the back one. So we turn the handle and that cranks the gear, which cranks the cam. These grooves in the posts, that's where the little, the clips go. So if we put this here, we have one more clip. This little thing. I think we're gonna stick it there. There we go. It's hitting there for some, oh, I think we need to do some surgery on our clip because it's hitting another piece. Okay, so the fish catcher dude, the seal, goes in the hole there. <laughs> but then, it, then he sticks through the hole too much. Ah, I get it. Okay, this has to clip onto there. And then this thing is like a spacer for the seal. And then we have the two posts. Oh, I do have to take the polar bear off. All right, let's put the fish catcher, dude. Why do I keep calling it a fish catcher? The seal. This has to go through the hole in the ice. Come on. Did I just break it? Ah, no, it's fine. Oof, close. Why he no fit? Oh, because I put her. Okay, now it works. Whew. Okay, we'll put half of the polar bear onto the ice. We'll put that into the hole there. The other half of the polar bear, okay, that goes through there because his arm attaches. There we go. We can put his head on so he's not like a headless polar bear. Fuck! Put the arm, squeeze that in place. Yeah, it's so cute. We're gonna put the other side of the frame on. It's like these puzzles that you have to hold everything together until you put the final piece in. I need more hands. Ah, ooh. Okay, proof of concept. Oh, <gasps> look at that. That is so cool. This, oh, I see, this goes in the bottom here. That makes the frame solid. How am I supposed to get this one in? I have to push it from all angles at the same time. There's no way I have to take the frame up. I have to take the frame apart again. Uh, how do you figure this out? Come on, no, no, no. Yeah. Does it still work? Yes. <laughs> that is so satisfying. That is so cool. That is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. There are some epic things I wanna do in the future, and I need your support to make it possible. Comment below if you have ideas or suggestions for things that you want to see me make. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.